Hi folks, Max from MotoXRoot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Moto X, Moto G, uh, both first generation and second generation. And also this method, uh, root method, will work on most of the newer Motorola devices uh, in the future if you see this. I'll actually, uh, the only thing different between the different models of these phones is that we're going to be using a different type of uh, custom recovery. Um, clock remote recovery or torque recovery for the Pacific uh, Pacific um, Motorola device. So I'm using Motorola second generation, Moto X second generation here, uh, but you can go ahead and use uh, this root method for all the Motorola devices. I'll actually point out where you have to use the different files, but everything else is practically the uh, same identical. All right, so first thing you'll need to do is unlock your bootloader. That will erase everything. Um, so go ahead and follow my tutorial. You can use Windows, Mac, or Linux. Go ahead and unlock the bootloader on your Motorola uh, device, whether you're using Moto X, Moto G, or future Motorola device. Um, the unlocking bootloader method is same for all. So go ahead and follow that. Once you have done that, um, you can go ahead and follow this tutorial. Um, so let's go ahead and power off our phone. And if you followed my uh, bootloader unlocking um, tutorial, you can skip most of the beginning of this uh, video, but you can go ahead and follow along. All right, once your uh, Moto Motorola device is powered off, um, the fastest way you can get into the fast boot mode is go ahead and hold down the volume down, all right? And then go ahead and hold down the power button for about three seconds. One, two, three. Let go of the power button, and then let go of the volume button, and you should see fast boot menu. And uh, if you did unlock your bootloader, somewhere there it should say device unlocked. If you see that, you're ready to go. Um, you can go ahead and connect a micro USB cable to your computer. Um, you can go ahead and use Windows, uh, Mac, or Linux. I'll have all the commands you have to type for Linux or Mac. Um, just go ahead and follow along with the video uh, where I'm typing the Windows commands. You can go ahead and type that for Linux or Mac uh, following the code on my site. And let's go to our computer. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, Device Manager if you're using Windows to check your uh, drivers. Um, go to your control panel, uh, hardware and sound, device manager. Now if you're using uh, Mac or Linux Ubuntu, you don't need drivers, so you can go ahead and skip this step. Uh, if you're using Windows, you should have, uh, you should see Motorola ADB interface or some kind of Android ADB interface. If you see this, you're ready to go. If you don't see that, um, go ahead and download the Motorola uh, USB drivers. I'll have the link on my site. Go ahead and download that, run the file, and then you may have to reboot your computer and then plug in your phone in again. All right, and you should see this. If you see this, you're ready to go. Again, for Linux or Mac, you don't need drivers. All right, next you'll need to download uh, fastboot.zip. If you follow my unlocking uh, guy, you don't have to, but um, if you're following this, uh, maybe on a different computer or you unlocked it not using my method, then go ahead and download fastboot.zip. Um, go ahead and uh, double click it and extract all files. Uh, and you should get a folder called fastboot.zip or fastboot. If you don't, uh, you can also make it unzip to a folder called fastboot if you want to. All right, inside you'll have all the files you need for Windows, Mac, or Linux, okay? All right, next you'll need to go ahead and go to uh, my site, motoxroot.com, and then go ahead and go to CWM Twerp Recovery, this menu here. I've put all the clock mount recovery and torque recovery available for the second generation Moto X, first generation uh, Moto X, also uh, second, gener pff, second generation Moto G, uh, first generation Moto G. Now if you need a, uh, if you have a different Motorola device, um, a simple way to do it is go ahead and type ROM manager. All right, and you'll come to this site called clock mount ROM manager recoveries, all right? And this will have all of the recoveries for various dif different devices, as you can see. Um, so let's say you're using Motorola um, G here. You can go ahead and download it here. There's two different versions. I do recommend the one in the second column. This is the touch version. If it's not available, you can go ahead and use the first version. But you can go ahead and download the image file here. Also, if you don't want to, you, you can use Clockwork, Clockwork Mod or Torp Recovery. Those are two different uh, recoveries, but both do the same thing. Um, the Torp Recovery is slightly more uh, user-friendly, probably. You can also type Torp on Google and find the site, Torp here, Team Win, and then go ahead and go to Get Torp for your device and go ahead and type Moto 
um, you know, Moto E if you need it. And then if you go, let's say Moto E here, and you'll be able to download the image file here somewhere. Um, here we go. So go to download and go ahead and find the file that ends in .img. That's the file you need. Um, so for example, you'll need the latest version of twerp .img. Go ahead and download that if you're using, uh, if you're trying to root uh, the Moto E. So that's the difference. That's the only difference in this tutorial, but you can use it for any Motorola devices so long as you can get the uh, bootloader unlocked. So that said, um, since I'm using Moto X second generation here, I'm gonna go ahead and download the XT1095, which is the pure edition. Uh, if you don't have XT1095, uh, you might be out of luck as at the time of this video, but go ahead and check my site here. I'm gonna keep updating it um, as new recoveries come available for other models. I'll post them all here. So go ahead and download the appropriate um, clock for my recovery. If you click here, you come to uh, download androidrom.com. This is my download site. Just go ahead and wait a couple of seconds here and go ahead and enter the captcha. Um, so smartphone from Xfinity, all right? And then hit the download. And this will download uh, the image file here. I've already downloaded, so I'm not gonna download again. But once downloaded, go ahead and show in folder, all right? And go ahead and do right click copy and copy this file, the image file you just copied into the fast boot folder. Go ahead and do right click paste. All right, once you have that, you're all ready to go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and open up a terminal. Go ahead and go to start search and type CMD uh, or the way you wanna open up a command terminal. I know many of you I like to do the right click on the folder thing, but I don't like it, so that's why I don't do it. <laughs> uh, but uh, also for Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how, please Google it. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and browse into this directory using the DOS commands uh, or the Unix commands, you wanna call it. Um, you should default to your user folder like I did. Uh, for all Windows, Mac, or Linux, you're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, enter, and we're gonna go ahead and type CD fastboot enter uh, and then we're going to go ahead and type uh, fastboot space flash space recovery space and then go ahead and enter the recovery image file you downloaded so i'm going to go ahead and type that one secret to or cheat to doing this is uh, go ahead and type the first two or three letters go ahead and hit the tab key on your keyboard and it will fill it out for you like that. Uh, next, uh, also, if you're using Mac or Linux, um, the commands are here. It's going to be different. Uh, for Mac, it's going to be like um, dash Mac like this. And for Linux, it's going to be like that for Linux or Ubuntu. Go ahead and refer to the code on my site for Mac or Linux. And uh, go ahead and type that instead of this. All right, go ahead and hit enter. And this will flash the recovery. It should take you 0.5 seconds, no more than like three seconds. Now, if it hangs or something, um, I've had cases where I'm using a USB 3.0 hub and going through that to the computer, uh, that makes it hang. So go ahead and connect it directly to your computer and try it again, it should work. And it's pretty safe to do a control C and try it again. Um, so once that's done, um, go ahead and go on your phone. And it might say mismatch partition size. Don't worry about that. That's normal for the second generation Moto X. For everybody else, um, it might say just okay or something. So just do the normal power up. Go ahead and press the power button. Go ahead and hold down the power button about two seconds uh, to turn on your phone. And we're gonna go ahead and download one more file and copy it onto our phone. All right, so I'll be back when this completely boots up. All right, once your phone has booted up, go ahead and connect it back to your computer via micro USB cable. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and download one more file. Um, go ahead and download the super SU file. Uh, let me see here, tools. I'll have a link to this. Go ahead and download this uh, super SU v2.0 zip. And if you download that, uh, it should be in your downloads folder and I have it right here. Go ahead and do right click copy and go ahead and copy and paste it into your Moto X. I'm not sure, it's one of those Zays or something. Um, you can go ahead and download it straight to your phone, uh, but uh, what you're supposed to do is copy that file to anywhere in your Moto X or your Motorola device. Um, if this happens that you can't download, you can go ahead and use AirDroid, which allows you to um, download files, uh, copy files wirelessly from your computer to your phone. Or you can just go here and 
um, you can just go to the link or you can go to tools uh, super SU here and download the latest version which is v2.0 um, there's actually a newer version than this but um, v2.0 works just fine that's why I haven't really upgraded but you can also after you install it you can go ahead and update it using Play Store so it's not a huge deal make sure you enter the captcha and this will download the file um, straight onto your phone I don't know what happened but sometimes it happens to me um, you know these Android devices sometimes they don't like to um, you know connect your computer um, you know I just use usually use AirDroid uh, but uh, if that happens you can go ahead and download it or copy it to your phone so I've got a download here super SU um, and then that should be in your downloads folder uh, we can do the rest uh, with our phone here so go ahead and power off your phone I'm going to show you the manual method but you can go ahead and use quick boot app on the Play Store to boot into recovery um, without doing this but uh, again go ahead and hold down the uh, volume down and then the power button for about three seconds one two three let go you should be in the uh, fast boot menus go ahead and go down to recovery and then hit the volume up to select it and this will get you into the clock mod or torp recovery you just installed and boom shot clock out. we got clock mod recovery um, if you see torp use the install menu if you have clock mod recovery go to install zip and choose zip from SD card um, and then go into your zero folder and go ahead and find the super SU file um, since I downloaded straight to my phone I'm gonna go to my download folder and it's right there I'm gonna go ahead and install a super SU zip file this will actually root your phone and when that's done your phone is uh, rooted and also this is where you can uh, install new ROMs backup and restore ROMs Go ahead and hit reboot system now. If it asks you fix root, don't fix root. Um, this is a broken feature on Clogmar Recovery and Torp Recovery. I don't know why they don't fix it. It's really annoying. Um, just say no. Just say no to uh, fixing root because you just rooted it and that's going to actually break. A lot of people do that. And uh, that, that might be why a lot of people ask me, hey, I just installed this, but it's not working. And maybe that's, they keep pressing yes. And then it's just uh, kind of, they keep going in circles. Um, there we go and uh, once it's rebooted go ahead and go to your app drawer go ahead and see super SU if you see that congratulations your phone has been completely rooted um, if it asks you to update binaries go ahead and do that uh, other than that your phone has been completely rooted and uh, let me go ahead and sign in real quick all right I just signed in I'm getting a bunch of uh, hangouts there um, go ahead and download any rooted app I highly recommend titanium backup app this is a rooted app that allows you to backup and restore your uh, favorite applications also it backs up your data um, I do highly recommend the pro key I have it I've had it for a couple of years go ahead and open any rooted app and now you should see boom shock super user request hit grant and you're good to go um, I should have full unroot, uh, unbrick method for the all the Moto X's, uh, hopefully all the Motorola phones. But uh, for now, there you have it. That's how you can root your Moto X uh, second generation and also uh, for other various Motorola devices. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, if you have a uh, Moto X, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list, uh, my new site at MotoXRoot.com. And that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and try some new ROMs on my Moto X 2nd Gen. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.